Hi everybody! I just wanted to do a quick flip through of this bullet journal that I'm currently in. I believe it's from Recollections. I got it at Michael's. Unfortunately, I do not see any branding on it, but it does have um, some kind of pre-laid out uh, spreads for the months. It has the habit trackers um, here that you can see, plus little notes. Um, for each month, it just has like a monthly spread. You can see I've added some stickers and days of the week. And it has a to-do list. Um, and kind of maybe like a mood tracker, I guess. I think it's about five pages for each monthly uh, section. So I've added in tabs. You can see I've added in some of my own little stickers there. That's the little teacup bird from my Etsy shop, Light in the Mailbox. And I put some of my new products in here every month so I can kind of keep track of what I add to the Etsy shop. So here's my August new products. Um, if you do want to see more of those, you can head over to lightinthemailbox.com or check out my Instagram at lightinthemailbox. I've added in some little, like, one-line-a-day things, which I'm really bad at keeping up with, to be honest. And then we're on into October now, which we haven't got to, so it's mostly just blank. But you can see how I've kind of set it up and laid it out. These little stickers here with the gold accents, those are from Sticky Club. I get two packs from Sticky Club every month. I love them. So we're getting into the blank spreads now that I've um, kind of used as a visual journal. This goes all the way back to July, as you can see here. I started it around the 4th of July. Just kind of put in some goals and to-do lists and that sort of thing. Some quotes and then here you can see the beginning where it says currently listening. That is the beginning of my 14 days of illustrated journaling uh, class that I did from Skillshare. Um, it's taught by Dylan uh, Merzwinski, which is, she can be found on Instagram at by Dylan M. She is an awesome illustrator. Go check her out. And here's some more of that, actually. Um, she It was kind of just like really random visual lists, I guess. I'm still not done with it because I've had to stop every once in a while. So my 14 days have kind of been spread out. I just kind of glue in some things here. I've got some Bible verses and stickers and just this and that that I've come across and some more visual journey visual journaling here again you can see I'm not very good at keeping up with my one line a day some more visual journaling I wonder if I can even really call this a bullet journal I kind of use it for a variety of things as you can see now here's where we get into the actual like planner spreads that I do myself. So this one I kind of did as you can see here where you fold it and then you can see your task list for um, all week no matter what day you're on. That was not my original idea. I can't remember who I, whose YouTube I saw that on though. And then the second week I kind of did again a vertical layout. Um, that took up, again, two weeks that I could fold over like that again to see it. I messed up though because I put my tasks on Thursday because that's the kind of thing I do. Some more visual journaling. I think this is where I stopped. I need to finish up this class. I'm on day 11 or 12 out of 14. And then just a to-do list. And then this time, um, for the most recent week, I thought I would try this layout. I don't know how I like it. I think I like the vertical layout better. So 
but the rest of it is just kind of um, blank pages and then some just some random lists and stuff at the back and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed bye